Hey there safari enthusiasts! Today we're diving into one of the most legendary safari destinations on the planet, the Serengeti National Park. This place is like the holy grail of wildlife adventures, boasting some of the most jaw-dropping scenes you'll ever witness. Trust me, it's an experience you'll never forget. So picture this, more than a million animals roaming across 37 million acres of pristine African savannah. That's the Serengeti for you. And let me tell you, if you're looking for an epic safari experience, you've come to the right place. Now, before we deep dive into the nitty gritty details, let's talk logistics. The best time to visit? Well, that's gonna be from June to October when the wildlife action is at its peak. And how do you get around? Easy. You hop on a safari tour and let the experts handle the rest. Plan to spend about three to five days soaking in all the Serengeti goodness and be prepared to shell out anywhere from 600 to 1400 bucks or more, depending on your budget and preferences. All right, let's get down to business. Here's a rundown of what you can expect from your Serengeti safari adventure. Day one, the Tarangir National Park. First stop, Tarangir National Park. This place is like Safari 101, where you'll get schooled on wild half behaviors and tracking techniques. Keep your eyes peeled for the iconic baobab trees and the massive herds of elephants chilling by the river. And oh, did I mention the 550 bird species? Bird watchers, you're in for a treat. After a thrilling game drive, fuel up with some delicious food whipped up by your safari crew. Watch out for the monkeys, they love to steal tourists' food. And why wouldn't they? The food they prepared for us on our tour was really great and ranged from local dishes to home-cooked pizza and pasta. After lunch, we continued on a game drive until sunset and headed to our accommodation. We kicked back at Twigger Lodge for the night. It's nothing fancy, but hey, it's got aircon and a pool. Not too shabby. You also have the option of camping to make your budget stretch further and still have the option of using the pool and bars. Day two, Serengeti National Park. Now onto the main event, the Serengeti National Park. Brace yourself for a bumpy ride through rugged terrain as you spend the first half of your day making your way to the land of the endless plains. Along the way, you will pass through the Gorongo Corita. You'll have the opportunity to see some truly beautiful mountain scenery and several Mai side settlements as we enter their territory. Once you arrive at the Serengeti, you will be greeted with an expansive terrain where you'll be able to spot animals such as lions, cheetahs, zebras, you name it, they've got it. And if you're lucky, you might even catch a glimpse of the great wildebeest migration in action. The safari drivers are often connected with each other via radio, and whenever someone sees something interesting, like a leopard or a group of cheetahs, they'll radio and let each other know where to drive to. That's how they keep track of animals and make sure we don't miss anything interesting. You'll likely spend the entire afternoon on a game drive in the Serengeti, spotting all kinds of animals before they take you to a campsite where you'll spend the night inside the park. As the sun sets, you'll hunker down at a campsite inside the park. Get ready for a wild night of animal serenade under the stars. If you're on a budget, you'll likely be spending your night at Tumbili Camp, whereas for mid-range to luxury tours, you'll be staying in a pre-set-up tented camp like Angata Serenera Camp, or a proper luxurious resort like Four Seasons Safari Lodge. Day three, more Serengeti fun. Rise and shine, adventurers. It's time for an early morning game drive where you'll witness the magic of sunrise on the savannah. Keep your camera handy because you never know what you might encounter, from playful cheetah cubs to majestic hot air balloons dotting the horizon. If you are there during the great wildebeest migration, you're going to want to go up in the hot air balloon. It's hands down the best way to experience the Great Migration. However, book in advance to avoid disappointment. The early morning is the best time to see the rare animals as they are most active during this time, like hippos relaxing by the water and cheetah families playing together. After a morning of epic wildlife sightings, it's often the Gorongo Crater for some more animal action. Whether you're camping under the stars or lounging in luxury, you're in for a treat at this natural wonderland. If you're looking for a hotel with the best view of Nogorongo Crater, I highly recommend Nogorongo Serena Safari Lodge. Not only are you getting a super comfortable and spacious room, but you also have an entire balcony overlooking the crater for yourself. Day 4. Nogorongo Crater Nogorongo Crater is like something out of a dream. Picture lush greenery, towering mountains and a bustling hub of wildlife around every corner. You'll spend hours marvelling at the diverse ecosystem and snapping photos of everything from black rhinos to zebras. In Serengeti there are a lot of animals, but they are often scattered out and it's not so easy to see them in big groups. Unlike in Nogorongo Crater, where all the animals are gathered around the lake in a boundary where you can actually see. 
As the day winds down, you head back to the lodge that you stayed at on your first night for some well-deserved R&R. But don't get too comfy just yet, there's still one more stop on our safari adventure. Day 5, Lake Manyara. Last but not least, we're off to Lake Manyara National Park for a final dose of safari magic. This forested paradise is teeming with baboons, elephants and a rainbow of bird species. We spent about five hours here exploring the lush landscapes before bidding farewell to the wild, heading back to our lodge for lunch and returning to civilization. We were taken back to Arusha for a night's stay before being dropped off at the airport the next day, officially ending the safari tour. And there you have it folks, the ultimate safari guide to the Serengeti National Park. From thrilling game drives to starlit nights under the African sky, this is one adventure you'll never forget. So pack your bags, grab your camera, and get ready for the safari of a lifetime. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel adventures. Until next time, roamers.